this tablet. The first thing is the, that it comes with this plastic and you can keep it or take it. I like it so I keep it. And the next thing we do is connect the cables. So we have the HDMA, the power cable and the USB. In the computer you don't want to connect the HDMA to the motherboard but to the graphics card because otherwise it won't work. Then you want to connect the USB and we are good with the cables. Now we just have to plug in our tablet and we are Now we need to set up the settings here so it will work. If you have two displays connected, make sure that you have the main display in your tablet, otherwise the pointer won't work. Now we want to download the drivers for the tablet so it can work properly. Once we have it downloaded, we're going to open it and install it. Make sure you don't have other drivers for tablet installed so it won't interfere and if you have them first delete them. I'm not going to install it because I already have it but I'm showing you the process here. Now we open the Freedom program and we look at the settings here and we can change them or try whatever we want on the sensitivity pressure test. I like to have it set up in minus two so I don't have to pressure so much when I'm drawing. Now I'm going to show you the settings for the programs that I use. Make sure you have it to uh, pressure sensitivity here in the Studio Pro and it will work and will recognize the pressure you put into the tablet without a problem. Now we're going to look at the settings in GIMP. Make sure you have your tablet mark so it will recognize the device and it will use the pressure sensitivity. And now we make sure that it's set up so it will work. And it's ready. And as you can see now, the computer and the program recognize the tablet and the pen and you won't have a problem while working with it. Hope you like it and thanks so much for watching.